guys, cold as ice here. I'm bringing the video out that I said I was gonna do, but this is Gorilla Tag Horror, a horror game like Gorilla Tag. It's basically Gorilla Tag, but with horror. That's kind of horrifying. <gasps> no, give me back up there. Give me back up here. Okay, so, yeah, that's the first map. Uh, Canyons, I believe, is in this. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this map's actually giving me the creeps. Let's go on to the see. Look, basically all the crystals are different. Okay, bro, this is actually kind of horrifying, but I love this game, bro. It's actually really fun. The creators of this game, hold on, let's just go to their uh, their little room and give credit to almost every single person in this, because they did this so well. It's so much fun. Mountains is the same thing. Hold on, see, look, I'll show you that really fast. See? It's basically the same thing. It doesn't have the old igloo. It has the old, uh... But they actually added... Windows. Not trying to listen to that too much during copyright. Alright. Alpha Squad. Do you want to look at all that? The admin of this monkey, glitch foxy, and then the main one, lemon. Lemon might be the coolest person that has made a gorilla tag game like this, in my opinion. You did good, lemon. You did good, bro. Like that's cool, lemon, but bro, that's giga lemon right there, bro. <laughs> that's giga. All right, the people with the stick. Handless. Okay. And then we got Cub Cub. Some other people. And yeah. Their uh, thing is just really awesome. So these people have the finger painter. These people have the stick. Monkey has admin badge. And the owner, if you see him, he'll either have Alpha Squad or Finger Painter. Ah, uh, then the Alpha Squad are here. I think they'll have like a pin or something that's like that. Either one. I'm getting off track a little bit. But they got some of the old horror stuff in. That's really cool how they made that. Alright. But mostly is they have their own cosmetics. Like, a couple. So they got a flare, a gas mask, almond water, a watch. Uh, so basically when you click your B or Y button on your controller, uh, 
it will glow with this, this, and that. Alright, so, if we go up here, flashback sale. As you can tell, my flashback. Yeah, they just have almost every single flashback item in here. I believe so far. I believe. I don't know, but... I think they got autumn, uh, winter, and Christmas, and Halloween. And Lucy's in this. See, look. Lucy, come and get me. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> I hit my ceiling. I'm way too tall for this. So, early access is there, but you cannot really get early access, I don't believe. The train from the Christmas update, then there's this mirror. I believe there's a different version to this game, but I don't know what it's called, but it's the version I know. So look, we have this in here, and then if you check right here, I believe right here, can you walk through this anymore? Nope, okay. So right here is the cross for 5,000. Okay. And this is the hardest one to get, in my opinion. Because you gotta really reach your hand into there and do some maneuvers. And then, Mark Flyer. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. So we've explored every single map. It's like Gorilla Tag, but abandoned. So, now... Check the man. Backrooms. They added the backrooms into this, and in my opinion, it's pretty fun. And then <laughs> the way out of here. There's not really a way out of here, only if you die. And you see level fun. This is really creepy, dude. The music. It sucks how I'm playing this with only just myself. All my friends are offline right now, but most friends don't have side quests, so. Okay, so basically, there's a, this thing where if you hold up the crucifix to one of the monsters, why is it getting louder? When you're near the monster and you use the the cross, crucifix, however you want to call it. But when you use it, you can uh, make it stop. But guys, this game is honestly fun. Recommend checking it out on side quests, uh, and bro, <laughs> this is just fun. The creators of this game, big thanks to them since this game is just fun. I've known I said fun a lot, but it's fun. But basically, there's the party goers in here. And if you don't know what that is, look it up on uh, Google or Chrome or whatever, Siri, whatever you got. But it's a backrooms entity that uh, basically in a party room, they have like a baggish head all over, like bag head, red, uh, red face, and... 
I can't explain the whole thing. Y'all have, you guys will have to go check it out on your own time. But mostly, this dude. I don't mind if this barely gets any views, but I'm glad I'm posting something now. Um, by the way, I've started a TikTok. Um, I will leave that in the comics. The comments, damn. So, yeah, guys, this is a uh, Gorilla Tag Horror. It will, I believe if you're playing by yourself, it will play this, like, music that you're hearing right now. But, shoot, if I can find what that song's called, if anybody knows what the music is called that it's playing right now, let me know, because I'm going to probably add it to, like, my outro or intro to my song, or, like, videos, or background music. But yeah, guys, this is the back rooms or Gorilla Tag Horror. Think of like the old trash runners and like everything like that. It's like that, but on side quest. But big thanks to the creators of this game. They're really good. I've uh, seen a video with Cub Cub and them, and they seem really chill. So. Big thanks for them to be making this game, honestly. But, boys, this will be the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. By the way, if this video gets up to 100 likes, I will make a video of me and my friends playing this. Well, see you guys soon. Goodbye.